Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell for more videos. I'm going to be using this little Brights palette from my brand, Rocket Cosmetics to create this summer look. So I'm going to start out with the green eyeshadow from the palette, y'all. Look at this green. It's giving. Yes, I'm starting out with the green eyeshadow. I'm going to be taking the green eyeshadow halfway up from the bridge of my nose up towards the crease but I'm going to stop at the center of the brow so I can add another shade to it so I'm going to be doing the same look on both eyes. The next shade I'm going to be taking is the orange. I am you see where I stop at the half of the brow and where like my brow is like forming an arch wherever you have an arch at on your brow that's where you want to add your second shade and right above your socket of your crease if you put your brush in the in center of the crease you're going to fill your socket so i'm going to be taking the brow as an arch the arch as a brow pointer and then i'm going to follow up but make sure you leave a little bit of space where you apply your concealer because that's gonna stand out as your highlight color. So I don't apply eyeshadow under the brow anymore because my highlight color is the shade. Going in with the Mood La Nude palette, both of these palettes are definitely available if you wanna get your hands on these palettes, y'all. Um, the pricing and everything will be listed down below. So I'm gonna be taking the black, the blackest black, black, black eyeshadow. <laughs> next to carbon by back y'all remember that black eyeshadow mm -hmm. i'm going to be applying it to the crease and then i'm not going to overlap the crease but i am just going to make sure i go back if i over blend a little bit sometimes the looks you can over blend let's let's all say professional emulates know that sometimes we over blend and you gotta make sure you fix it or relayer the colors and then i'm going to be taking la colors Conceal it concealer in deep. This is like my favorite concealer Hands down shout out to LA color y'all and I'm gonna be taking it and I'm applying it y'all look at that cut crease I've been practicing. I've been practicing So I'm gonna practice. I'm not quite there yet, but confidence. I have to have it I had to toot my own horn for a second, but y'all I like it <laughs> So we're gonna go in with Jackie, 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 Jackie palette from ABH. I still love this palette, y'all, to this day. And I'm gonna take Shookington first. I'm gonna apply Shookington in the inner corner and halfway. So it's like one third of the lid. That's like my go-to point as far as starting an eyeshadow look for the lid. Start at your inner corner because you're already gonna have eyeshadow in inner corner. So that saves up a little bit of time. And I'm gonna take um, sponsor. I'm gonna apply sponsor to the center so it can get like that gorgeous gold hint of green, you know, that big energy. And follow me on TikTok, you know, the Lotto song I put in my video. And then I'm gonna be applying it to the end of the eye, like the outer V. But I'm gonna be taking the black eyeshadow and kind of fix up some areas. Because I kind of over blend it. But you know. Always go back. It's okay to go back and create your mistakes. But when you go back and create your correct your mistakes. You're also revamping the look all over again. So it's not like you're losing. When you, you're like revamping. Then I'm going to be taking the eyelashes from Raquel Cosmetics. Which is in Shay Shay. All of my products. I basically use mainly all of my products in this look. Minus the Jackie Anya palette. But. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna be using my shade, my shadow, my shade shadows. Can't talk today. 
my lashes in a shade shade. That's what I made to try to say. And I'm applying it to the lid, y'all. Yes, make sure you get it good. Now, the technique that I'm really learning about lashes, you got to make sure that glue is tacky. As you guys see, I have to take it off and apply it again because it wasn't too tacky enough for me to put it on there. It takes time, y'all. Lashes is my least favorite when I do it on other people and I do it on myself. Lashes are my least favorite when it comes out of makeup. As you can see, I just want to leave that part in there. I'm struggling. I was getting frustrated. This lash was not going to be my friend today, but we got it on there. And once you've got your lashes on, the look is completed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video.